in your own home. That's what Black, uh, Blackstone is bringing to you tonight. But boy, it has gotten so much better right. than just their number one selling griddle because this is now two cooking surfaces. Take a look at how amazing this is and it is completely portable. You're taking this with you wherever you want to go or just having the most amazing experience in your backyard. So this huge griddle plus a second cooking surface all on the table, the legs coming along with it. You even get the case that makes it so incredibly portable. We're gonna go through all of the details. We are streaming live right now on Facebook. So if you have any questions or comments, be a part of our show. But Mark Gill is here to show you how, how you're gonna are have you the doing? coolest backyard I'll this summer. I'll tell you, man, I hope you're hungry. Uh, and everybody yes. at home, I hope you're ready to learn a little bit about the Blackstone Tailgater. And here's what's cool. You are looking at a world network launch right now of our Black, uh, Blackstone Tailgater and have a look here you guys at what we're talking about. We're talking about an 18 inch world famous piece of cold rolled steel. That's what Blackstone's famous for. We're going to talk about how cool it is to cook on this surface. Right. And beside it we've got a 15,000 BTU side burner. So what you've got Carrie at the end of the day and we're going to get into all the cool things it does and the features and benefits. You have basically got a kitchen that you can take with you now. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to the fun of Blackstone, when it comes to the versatility, when it comes to our kind of moniker of being able to cook anything, anytime, anywhere, yeah. and with the addition of that side burner, boy, it's never been more apparent than it is now. And one of the things that you're going to love about your Blackstone is cooking breakfast on it. I'll tell you, boy, if you love that diner experience, if you love that once every now and then treat, imagine being able to do it anytime you want. And that's what I love about Blackstone. So next time you're camping, next time you're tailgating, next time you're out on the road or it's a Sunday afternoon and you've got the family over, yeah. here's what I want you to do, man. Break out the bacon. Nothing cooks bacon like a flat top. Oh my gosh. Break out the eggs, break out the potatoes and have that diner experience at home. Guys, look at those egg sizzle. And let's talk just for a second about this cooktop, all right? Okay. This is cold rolled steel. You can cut on this, you can scrape on this, you can treat this like it owes you money. This <laughs> isn't going anywhere, guys. And what's cool about this, the more you use it, the better your food tastes. I like to say that every time you use this grill, your family puts its signature right on it. Oh, it's like it. cast iron. Every single time you cook that potato, that egg, that piece of bacon, that sausage, that burger you're gonna see, the Pure Land Meat Company's unbelievable sirloin steaks that we're gonna talk about in a little bit, it leaves that signature behind, just like grandma's cast iron grill, man. That's what it's all about. And by the way, just so you know, I'm using the breakfast kit that we have available today too which is such a cool, cool addition to add to your Blackstone. So what we're going to do is we're going to water our pancake mix down just a little. I was going to say, that's a <laughs> thick pancake mix. That's By the way, pancake so mix. you get the, ba the batter dispenser, you get the two little egg round thingies, <laughs> um, and then you also get the press. The Love breakfast it. kit, we have a couple hundred of those, is and that, that always it? sells out. As wow, well, yeah. it's like I'm stirring so this for nothing. We're, yeah, we're expecting all of those to sell out tonight. I love it. Game let's, changer let's on Sunday mornings, over. that's all it I'm saying. It certainly is. So guys, go ahead, have your pancakes have your Much eggs, better. have your bacon, <laughs> have all of your breakfast and brunch favorites. And uh -huh. what's cool about this is when you season this yeah. properly, you end up with a surface that acts like the best ceramic or quantanium or titanium or whatever it is we're talking about there in terms of non-stick. And here's what I mean. If you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to work on something like that. Yeah. It's forever going to stick and grab. Well, here's what's cool, guys. If you look at cold rolled steel or cast iron under a microscope, oh you've gosh. basically got a mountain range. So when you get this home, you're gonna do what's called seasoning it as I take the eggshell out of there. You're gonna do what's called seasoning this, guys. And what that means is, you're gonna put a thin uh. coat of oil on there and you're gonna <laughs> let it burn off. And you're gonna end up with a grill top that doesn't <laughs> stick, doesn't grab, doesn't break that egg, and you end up with some of the best breakfast experiences, whether you're tailgating, camping, whether you're out at the game, or it's just Sunday, and yeah. you want to have one of those unique experiences that only the Blackstone tailgater is going to give you. Guys, when you're out at the campsite, you can do fresh coffee on a burning top. Oh, man, there's nothing like it, Carrie. Nothing. Um, okay, guys. 
every time Mark brings just the griddle here, it completely sells out. Yep. This is an HSN exclusive configuration that gives you the double cooking surface, the table which folds down, and the carrying bag. So you get everything to make this completely portable, to take Love tailgating, it. to take wherever you want to, but ultimately, your backyard just got so much cooler for summer, <laughs> right? Getting the heat out of the kitchen, everybody outside, it's like you're in a diner. You right, have this and that's what it is. It's that surface. diner experience that we're talking about. So guys, whether it's the pancakes, the bacon, the eggs, the brunch, the dinner, the yeah. steaks and burgers that we're going to see in a second, or some of the uh, the travel and food that you love, this is the best way to go. Now, I'm going to teach you a little thing about pancakes, okay? All of the ugly ones can go on the bottom. That's what you do with pancakes. Mm -hmm. Ugly pancakes go on the bottom. That pretty one that you're super proud of, that's the one that goes <laughs> right on top, just like that. So when you're looking at it, that whole stack must be beautiful. <laughs> Guys, here we go. A little bit of syrup, throw some butter on there if you want. I love a little bit of, uh, of, of powdered sugar with my pancakes. And the bottom line is, if you want that cool, unique breakfast experience, I'll tell you, this is the way to go about it. Uh, uh, icing sugar in the Florida heat, let me tell you. Look at that, you guys. Wouldn't you love to serve that for breakfast the next time you're camping, tailgating? Yeah. Look at those eggs. I'm just going to take one second here, and I want you to see something, okay? I'm going to break into this. Okay. This is that perfect yolk every single time, you guys. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Cook perfectly. You've got that, that beautiful browning from the cooktop. You've got your coffee. You've got your pancakes. Bottom line, guys, this is the best thing you're ever going to use for I breakfast. I tell you what, award-winning. 200 of them have now been spoken for. They're $27.99 on your charge card for 30 days to try this experience at home. If you are that entertainer, if you are the grill mm -hmm. master, this is taking your grilling experience, not even to a different level, just to a whole new place <laughs> of delicious Truth. Isn't that the truth? So, guys, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to have a little fun, and we're going to travel around the country. You know, you and I were talking about this, and uh, right before our big event here at HSN, we actually took a crew of about 20 people, and we hit the road. Yeah. And we went basically coast to coast with all of our Blackstone products, mm -hmm. and man alive, we made so many stops, and we had so much fun. But one of the things that I love about this is all of those foods that you love to see on the food channels and the food networks, maybe that's how you like to travel around the country. Now you can recreate them right here. Here's I mean. Yeah. So let's talk about cheesesteaks first, okay? okay? We actually went to Philly and we went to South Street, one of the most popular Philly cheesesteaks ever. So I like mine wit. That means a little bit of cheese whiz right there. You put that right on, slide it right under, and just like that, guys, the perfect Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Isn't that beautiful, oh you guys? Oh my gosh, yes. Love it, love it, love it. So let me <laughs> put that there. Okay. And we're gonna show you something kind of cool here. And I can only make this dish because I've got the side burner, you guys. This 15,000 BT BTU side burner mm -hmm. makes it now so I can create dishes I've never been able to create before. Here's what I mean. There's a popular hot dog and sandwich place in Chicago, okay? And they make this combo dog unlike anything you've ever seen. It starts with a fresh bun, okay. beautiful sausage, Go on. and then we've got to do meat and peppers. I don't want to lose any of that here. Let's get that back. And then here's what makes this sandwich magical. You ready for this? This isn't like your traditional beef dip. Uh-uh. Here's what we need for this. We need a set of tongs. Now you ready? You got to get the right angle. Go on. Because this guy goes right in the, the dip. Whole thing. Make sure you got a hearty piece of bread for this, guys. Okay, all right. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to pop it right here and we're going to finish it off with a topping. Dibs. And let me tell you something. That oh is a sandwich God. for the ages right there. Guys, have some fun with this machine. So I'll tell yeah. you what, Carrie. Mm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off and I'm actually going to start a chicken marsala. Okay. Because the things that you can do with this grill, there's no limits because you've got the burner yeah. and you've got the cold rolled steel. I love it. So those of you that are going to be traveling with this and taking this to the tailgate, uh, taking it with you, this weighs about 50 pounds. The legs fold flat. We'll show you that. The legs fold down and you're getting the carrying case included with your purchase tonight. So really endless possibilities now because you have the dual cooking surface on this. You have the grill. You have the burner. We're going to show you a grill box that you can buy to add to this 
this as well uh -huh. if you want to make one side of this a, gr a grill. But we've got tons of accessories. We want you to be a part of our show tonight. Thanks to all of you um, that are shopping with us tonight. Grace says she loves the grill. Oh, that's um, terrific. It, Hi, Grace. It's so amazing. It sells out every single time that Mark brings this because, mm -hmm. you know, it's just an amazing experience to it be really able. Is. If you love to watch the cooking shows with the food trucks, if you love to go to the diner yep, and get amazing exactly. stir fries and amazing breakfast treats, now you can do it at home for $27.99. Exactly. Right? So guys, watch what we've got going here. I've got a beautiful chicken marsala that we're going to get happening. We've got marsala sauce going in the pot. I've okay. got the uh, mushrooms that I'm going to give a little bit of a steam to. Always have these little squirt bottles by you guys. We've got an accessory pack that has the squirt bottles, the spatula, the cleaner, everything you're seeing today. That's a great thing to have on hand. Get the veggies steaming up just like that. So I'll tell you what, I want a nice little sear on my chicken. Okay. So let's leave that there for a second. On our burner, we've actually got some pasta that we've got cooked and we're just going to get reheated. So I'll tell you what, let's get a nice little crust on there and come on, follow me back to this machine up here. Okay. Because I want to address something when it comes to grills that you might be thinking at home. And that's the setup and the assembly. And sure. I'll tell you, I have spent hours putting a grill together. I mean, you're talking three hours, a pack of Band-Aids, a lot of swearing, and at the end of it, I don't want a hot dog. Sounds I don't even want to look at a grill anymore. It's great. It sounds <laughs> awful. Well, here's what I want you to understand. The Blackstone Tailgater was designed specifically with you in mind and your ability to be able to create all kinds of dishes anywhere, anytime, yep. using virtually any ingredients you want to use. So guys, have a look at this, okay? okay. Remember what we talked about about assembly? Yeah. This is so cool. You're gonna pop these two buttons on. You're gonna add a battery right there so you have an electronic ignition switch. Okay. You're done. <laughs> guys, seriously, watch this. There are four legs that extend. So if you have an uneven space, like most of us do when we camp, you can always keep it level. Yep. All you're gonna do is unfold this. You're gonna hear a snap. That means that the legs are in place. Seriously, you're done. That's it. Well, and then you you're have done. your propane tank, which you would have for your normal <laughs> barbecue course. as well, right? And have a look at this, you guys. You want to talk this. portability? Yeah. It all fits in the bag that's coming with it today. Yeah. That's goofy. I love well, it. Love I, it, it just makes it so incredibly portable, right? This is an HSN exclusive configuration. Elsewhere, you have to purchase the bag separately. So this is truly your opportunity to get this home tonight, for again, for $27.99 on your charge card, uh -huh. and let Mark inspire you you there are we haven't even touched uh, the either the tip of the iceberg of what you're going to be able oh, to create I'll tell you what, on uh, this griddle we're halfway through our presentation here we've talked about breakfast we've talked about some you know soups and different things you can do we've already done our philly cheesesteak we've done our famous chicago dog now we're talking yeah. chicken marsala i haven't even got to the hot dogs hamburgers kebabs steaks uh shrimp and crab boil salmon dessert luther burger funnel cake and uh volcano uh, onions we're going to do here we just but got we're going to get to it <laughs> Don't you love that? I, so, yeah, guys. I, I love it, but there's no fork. I've been looking around here. Can, may I have a fork? There's no fork? There's no fork. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, you know I'm going to talk to somebody. These, yes. You know I'm going to talk to somebody. All right, here we go, guys. So, think about being able to add pasta to your repertoire when you're camping, when you're tailgating, when you're out in that backyard. Or listen, maybe you're just doing dishes where you don't want that odor in the house. Take it outside. Like I said before, you guys, you basically have now a portable kitchen that you can take anywhere. So let's go ahead, get our sauteed mushrooms in there, our beautiful peppers, and we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of marsala sauce, some green onions, and then, whoo, that's hot. Did you know that metal conducts heat? Uh, yeah. I was unaware of this. <laughs> Here we you go, okay? you guys. Oh, I'm great. A little bit of marsala sauce, just like that. Let mm. me top a few green onions on there. And guys, here comes the magic. You ready for this? And I know Kelly Diedring yeah. uh, talks about these on the network all the time and absolutely love it. This is Simply Beyond Spray On Herbs. These are fantastic, you guys. This is the actual essence of the herb lightly mixed with nothing but canola oil. There's only two ingredients. It's in a burlap bag inside with the condensed air, compressed air surrounding the bag. So you never have aerosol in your herbs, nothing but the herbs. So all you need to do, instead of growing, peeling, and chopping garlic, is just give it one of those, and it's like squeezing fresh garlic on it. So oh, oh I'll my tell gosh, you what, that smells amazing. you wanted 
You want it a little bit? Please, please, please. Okay. And, and by the way, that garlic, just take a little bit of that. I, I was going to say, you just oh, you douse what? this with the most amazing smelling garlic. No great? one's going to want to be around me <laughs> for the rest of the night. <laughs> well, those aren't people you want as friends then. This is true. <laughs> Okay. Isn't that beautiful? That is delicious. Isn't that great? You, the mm. garlic comes through all of the all of the taste and flavor from that uh, cold rolled steel flat top surface. Guys, fantastic. The Those more are food, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. The more food you cook on this, the better it tastes. Just like Grandma's cast iron. So here, this is one of the positions here where I've really been looking forward to it because this to okay. me is summer. Yeah, I oh, know. you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> I never know you when you're ready to hop in with a question. No, guys. Oh, no, I'm still, I'm still chewing. <laughs> I love it. So have a look at this, you guys. Have some fun this year and play around with different hot dogs from all over the country. You know, it's really easy to create those regional favorites, whether it's a Chicago dog, a Philly dog, a New York dog, and I'm going to say it right off the bat, yes, I am absolutely positive I'm going to make most of these wrong. Okay? <laughs> I don't want to hear it. So, a few onions just like that. Guys, there's a really fun Chicago dog, and then you can do your, your your chili dogs or you know what how about a little bit of of sauerkraut on one of these guys or you know what if you're not into the fancy guys and you're just every seven year old in the country then you know what go ahead put your ketchup on put your mustard on See, I'm okay it's all with about that. having a great time I'm okay with that yeah okay so tell us we, yep. we come outside we're ready to cook on this how yep. long does this take to heat up all right you're looking at about 15 minutes for heat up time okay all right and that's if you're going for a max temperature okay okay uh, now here's what I want to talk to you about right here that's very exciting and I'm standing in front of it right. you want to really add some versatility yeah. to your experience have a look at this in the spot where that burner is you actually mm. have the opportunity i don't think we have a ton of them to get a grill box so here's what happens this snaps into place where the burner is uh -huh. so now instead of a flat top and a burner now you've got the flat top and the traditional grill so when we say you really can make anything anytime anywhere we're not kidding so when it comes to kebabs steaks chops or how about this and i'm gonna i'm gonna treat this one with kit gloves because i love this this is pure land beef company's sirloin center cut steak and we're gonna have a whole presentation on their brand new products here at the network coming up later tomorrow but let me tell you something that steak is unlike anything I've ever bitten into. That was yeah. goofy. Grass-fed and organic. <laughs> That's launching yep. here later today here on HSN. By the way, if you want the grill box, which you can use, you can mm -hmm. lift it off and use the burner if you want to, um, but it makes it obviously a grill. Right. Limited quantity. Less than 700 of you can, wow. can add that to your order. And it's $69.95, by the way. So, guys, have a look at this, all right? This is every summer. This is your cookout. This is what you gather family and friends for. And the beautiful thing about this is everything is components everything's modular so you could put the flat top here the flat top there you could add the grill box mm. you could leave it the burner you could put another grill box over there you order it from blackstone nice. you can have so much fun with this it's so versatile and i gotta tell you i've never worked with a product where i've had more people stop me in the hallway and go do you like it do you like it and i'm like <laughs> do i like it yeah i've been going crazy on this thing for the last month i don't like it i love it well they have an incredibly huge griddle surface right? to cook on it's terrific? really exciting yeah, yeah i love that endless love it, love possibilities it, it. even if you're just talking about breakfast love it that diner Woo! experience in your home every single exactly. weekend with the eggs and the pancakes <laughs> um, by the way um diana on facebook is asking where you get the pancake pour that's in the limited edition breakfast kit so um we can pull up that item number rick if you don't mind giving that to us. Um, less that. than 200 of you can get that one. Now, here's where we're going to do something very interesting. Remember I keep talking to you about seasoning the grill? Right. All right, well, here's why you want to season a grill. You want to season a grill so you aren't sticking food to it anymore. As soon as this comes out of the box, it's going to be a beautiful season silver shiny take a picture because it won't last <laughs> you want it to look like this you want it to look black you want it seasoned properly and by the way we're always going to show you how to season it properly either on the old blackstone's website uh we talk about it online but i want you to watch this okay have a look if you've ever had a tough time cooking fish it's over can you believe the oh, crust on that carry that's gosh. out of this world let me show you that again it's in case you perfect. missed it okay now being able to do that with fish is one thing, yeah. but are you ready for this? Okay. And this is the treat that we don't get because we don't have the equipment that can do it. How about skin on? And When's it's not the sticky. last time Sorry. you were able to do this, right? So <laughs> right? watch this. It's like it's on ice, you guys. The skin is still on that. I need you to think about every piece of cookware you've ever owned and think 
have I ever been able to do this. Now this guy's doing it on a piece of steel. Oh my God. All you need to do is season it, walk away. And here's my little pro tip for you before we get into this pot. Yeah. Always, 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 yeah. always, 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 you're welcome. Always, 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 always. Put that lemon flat side down on the grill anytime you're doing fish. Oh my gosh. You wanna know why? Right there, my friends, that's why. And that's why. I mean, this is the ultimate foodie dream. Ooh. I mean, it's just brand new possibilities at home, right? You're gonna yep. be out with your family in the backyard having amazing get-togethers, whether it's the 4th of July or whatever it may be. You have an entire <laughs> griddle station. Look you. at the size of that yeah, garlic bread ahead. and what you've done, Put Mark. The garlic bread right there. Okay. Let's cut it in half. Yes, that's poorly. my half, your half. Pop that over there. So guys, there here we, we go. go. Okay. Are we ready for this? Yes. Have a look at this pot. Now, here's the first thing I want this pot to tell you. How sturdy is this burner? Look at the size of this thing, you guys. My right. gut's huge, and this covers it. Stop. All right? <laughs> We're talking 50, 100 pounds this is supporting. So let's have a look inside. Guys, no lie, this is the real deal. If you've ever gone to one of those restaurants that makes that giant deal out of taking the big pot out and banging it on the way to the table. Yeah. This is the way to do it. Let's walk this over there and have a peek, you guys. Okay. This is one of the most beautiful things you will ever see um, your whole life. The there smell is amazing. I'll tell you. Let's get a few out there. Okay. We've got lobster tails. we got shrimp. we got got hogs. we got clams. we got lemon. we got sausage. <laughs> we got corn. And we got room for more. Let me tell you something, you guys. When have you're fun. looking for versatility, flavor, when you're looking to wow everybody, oh my gosh. the Blackstone Tailgater is absolutely going to do the job for you every time. 18-inch cold-rolled steel, a 15,000 BTU burner, and some of the best food you're ever going to have. Again, this is an HSN exclusive configuration. You get everything that you see Mark using. You get the griddle. You get the second cooking surface. All you do is hook up your propane, and you're good to go. <laughs> that table with the legs that fold down flat that you're going to put in the bag in the carrying case that's yep. coming along with your purchase as well, <laughs> it all comes to you for $27.99. We have hundreds of you shopping with us tonight. We love that you're loving this as much as we do. While supplies last, you can get this home for $27.99. We're going to go out to New York. Linda, welcome into HSN. How are you tonight? All right. I'm wonderful. Thank you. Fantastic. So, Linda, are you picking up the grill for the first time or do you already have it at home? I'm picking it up for the first time. Yay. And what do you very excited about it. What are you I live in an area of New York where we have a lot of power outages. Uh -oh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I need my coffee first thing in the morning. <laughs> That's brilliant, Linda. I love it. That I love. Well, let me and tell I you something. I have an old fashioned percolator. I love it. Let's see how we're doing. Well, then here. this is yeah, perfect so, for you. So that that is going to be amazing. And it. also, we do a lot of camping and we do a lot of beaching, and this is just going to be wonderful. Oh, that's us. great. Don't you love the idea that it's so incredibly portable that you can have yeah. such a large cooking surface and such a powerful burner, and you can take it's it with you wherever amazing. you go? Yeah. It's, it's, it's really exciting. It's, it's absolutely amazing. But what, what excites me the most is that I can actually perk coffee in the morning when my power is out for several days. You know what, Linda? All of us are going, we feel you. We, we do. We feel you. Cotton, we absolutely you, you do. you got to have your coffee in the morning. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, fun. Thank, well, good. Oh, and thank you so much. It, it, I can't wait to receive it. It just looks wonderful. You're going to love it. You yes, absolutely you are, are going to love it. Linda, I'm thank you so sure much. I will. All righty. Well, well, thanks for being a part of our show. Have a wonderful evening evening great well, idea I tell you. Um, is there some sort of funnel cake or something <laughs> happening here that well, I need to be aware of? You know what? Let me tell you something here, guys. You can now fry at the campsite. So all of these fantastic, you know, summertime fair and exhibition foods that we love so much, like the, uh, the funnel cake that you're seeing, now you can do at home. It's so fast. It's so easy. So here's what we're doing, okay? Over the course of these two burners here, we're going to just kind of finish this off with a whole bunch of fun food for you. Over here, we're going to talk a little bit about dessert. If you've ever heard of something called a Luther burger, a Luther uh -huh. burger is a bacon and cheeseburger that uses a, a, a glazed donut, you know the favorite or famous kind, instead of buns. And it's actually named after the singer of the same name. But I'll tell you, we've seen a lot of meat here today. Okay. So let's go ahead and use the watermelon. 
for the red meat. Okay. And let's use the pineapple for the white meat. Okay. <laughs> now, is there going to be a bun on it? What's that? A bun? Like, well, oh, that is, is the bun. What? <laughs> so oh, got, okay. Right? So let's go ahead. Let this fry up just All like right. that. All right. Let's get that going over here. And let's have a look over here at what we're doing, okay? This is a great grill to do a lot of the, what do they call them, like trending dishes? You know what I mean? Sure. And one of the things that everybody's going crazy over is Mexican street corn. And you oh need my a flat top to get that cooking. There's no doubt about it. So watch what we're going to do here, guys. We're going to take our cooked corn. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to set it right on that grill. Because what you're going to do is you're going to put a char on that corn. And then you're going to top it with the Mexican crumbling cheese, all those spices, the cilantro, everything that people are loving. Okay, and we're so you cooked it first right next door on the grill. Right or on next the, door on the, on the grill, exactly. Okay. We've got some shrimp going here for shrimp tacos, and I'm going to have a little fun with that onion. If you've ever seen one of our demonstrations, you know what's coming. I'm glad you put your hair up. <laughs> oh <laughs> Let's my. go back over here. I'm a here. little scared. You should be. I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn our funnel cake over just like that. And okay. here's what we're going to do, you guys. You know what? It's so much fun being able to create with a piece of equipment that works with you, never fights you. You know what I mean? This is one of those pieces of equipment that is just fun, fun, fun to play with. And I say play with, mm. I could say use, I could say work with, I could say whatever. Play with. Play with it, guys. Yes. Cooking is supposed to be fun, inventive, experimental. And yeah. This is one of those machines where, you know what, uh, you got this thing seasoned right, you keep cooking on it, even your mistakes are going to taste fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, uh, Marsha on <laughs> Facebook says she has this, and Excellent. she loves it. When we have a cookout, uh, they want to have it at my house because I have this. <laughs> See? I love it. Such a game changer. Who has this, right? Right, exactly. Listen, this is the Network World exclusive launch right here. This is the first place to get it. Have a look. Yes. We're going to go ahead and get Get that corn kind of moving around here now these onions if you've ever gone to one of those fancy dancy places that does those uh you know what i'm talking about the uh teppanyaki oh nice. i remember, love remember remember what i said treat oh. this thing like it owes you money have some fun at home in your backyard doing dishes that you would never expect to be able to do you know what i mean how fun is that right <laughs> i just it, it, like i said if, if you're a foodie this is the ultimate upping your game as this is a foodie. It. in the past mark yeah. we just we just got the one grill we just got the griddle. That exactly. was it. Sold out every single time. Now you have two separate cooking surfaces. Oh, do oh, not boy. drop that because <laughs> the three second rule would apply. Three seconds. I tell you. <laughs> you get the stand, you get the bag, all of mm -hmm. that included only Good here round. today on oh, HSN for $27.99. Oh, what a huge here we deal. Go. So let's to go ahead. Stay home and make these amazing recipes. Oh. Is that, was that the donut? So that's Is that the a, donut. That's a donut. Here's the red meat. That's a watermelon. <laughs> it's a tomato. What is that? What Here's, am I looking at? That's a watermelon. Okay. Here's the middle bun. Yes. Here is the white meat uh -huh. or the pineapple. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here is the top bun. And here is our Luther fruit burger on a funnel cake that we made anywhere we gosh darn well please with the tailgater. Let's add a little bit of fruit right down the center all the way around the edge. And let's top that up with a little bit of that. Who says you can't? You know what? Again, I am so situation. tired of shaking this thing. I don't, there's no forks around here. I don't understand. Imagine, Butter. if you will, white sugar that's not solidified. Powdered in sugar in Florida. It just we don't. We're I love not allowed it. to have it out here. I love it. Um, I, can I have a fork? What's that? Oh my I goodness! Somebody get this woman a fork. I know it's the fork situation. I'm gonna get written up. Okay, that's, that works. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! This isn't looks that amazing. Something? You know what? Without this, I would never even attempt something like this. I love right? it. I love that it allows you to cook foods on the grill that you wouldn't on a traditional grill because right. everything would fall through. Exactly. You know what? That's the whole thing. That's what you're seeing here with the shrimp, especially you guys. Trying to do a dish Ooh. like shrimp tacos or something like this on a traditional dish, you lose it all the way down. So let's go ahead, take our uh, Mexican street tacos over here and let's finish it off. A little bit of spices, just like that. Oh. And this is a dish you'll spend a fortune for, you know, uh, out at the food trucks and the restaurants and all that. Go ahead and add your Mexican crumbling cheese, just like that, and add a bit of cilantro. Guys, are you kidding? Are you kidding me, You can me create indeed. this anywhere, hey, anytime, you um, guys. We have, uh, we have just a few seconds left. All We're right. going to go out to the phones. Uh, Dave in Arkansas. Hey, Dave. Will you, uh, uh, welcome on to HSN. For, <laughs> welcome to HSN, first of all, Dave. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I love, I love Mark on this show. Oh, thanks, man. Ah, that's so wonderful to hear. Do you have the, the griddle uh, already at home? I okay. actually have a 28-inch griddle, and I love it. And I'm, I'm looking at this as a great addition to my, my uh, yeah. uh, grill. That's awesome. What do you love about it? 
Uh, let me tell you, on my 28-inch, I've cooked three pounds of bacon, stir-fry, <laughs> uh, mm. steaks. I got the neighbors drooling at the mouth. <laughs> Oh my well, God! Here, this as, this as will make I. you drool, my friend. Oh my you got to try this. Um, so fantastic! Oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> Doesn't it look amazing, right? Oh, I love all it. Of yeah. it. I love that you pointed yeah. out the capacity, Dave. I mean, you get three pounds of bacon, and you can just throw Cook so much army, on man. it, right? Absolutely. Oh, I love it. We have BLTs during the summertime too. You know. I love it. That's Fantastic, Dave. That's thanks for being a part of our show thanks, tonight. Dave. Final couple seconds. Will you yeah. show us how the legs fold down again? Absolutely. I know that we're done and we're about to wrap yeah, up, yeah. but I want everybody to see the portability on this Yeah, again. yeah, for sure. Guys, listen, when you get this out of the box, and I'm going to give you a live unboxing next Sunday on my personal website. We'll talk about that throughout the day. Pop the two knobs on, stick a battery in there so you've got the electric ignition. And when it comes down to assembling this, here it comes. Guys, watch. Don't blink. Let the legs click. Eat. That's Put it, it in the case <laughs> that you're getting included, or that's included with your purchase tonight, and throw it in the trunk of your car, and you are a party on the go, right? Love it. I love it. Um, love amazing. It, love it. Or just in your backyard, right? How fantastic is this? Um, all right. Super excited about this. Um, the grill box is yeah. still available. It is already getting limited. Wow. Final, or less than 600 of you can now add that to your order. So it sits right on top, turns your grid, your Brookstone into a, a traditional. You're exactly grill. right. It gives you. Uh, about 200 square inches of traditional grilling, which is exactly the finishing touch when you are that grill guy. So I'll tell you what, the flat top is fantastic. Its reputation precedes it all over the country. The burner is 15,000 BTU. But I'll tell you, that grill box, unbelievable. And then, Mark, later on today, we have <laughs> the amazing launch of the most delicious yep. organic burgers from Pure Land. You, you ever have one of those $20 burgers uh -huh. when you're at one of the fancy restaurants? Mm -hmm. We are the company that supplies the burgers to the restaurants that serve that kind of quality. And that's what we're going to show our HSN customer today, all the way from the trimmings that it's made of and not the stuff that's in your head. We're talking steak. We're talking sirloin chuck that's what we're talking about with that and they use a special uh technology that actually makes it tender incredible to, to like to bite into the textures out of this world and cooks 20 percent faster wait do you hear about that okay that on your brookstone girl you're that's summer that's a vacation i don't need to go <laughs> anywhere right. i just need to eat that mark thank you so much thank for being you. here how much but fun you can shop the today special on hsn.com only 27 dollars 99 don't forget about the pure land beef absolutely delicious Ooh. as well all right We've got more coming up. We're going to run inside the HSN kitchen. Again, check out everything on hsn.com. And right now, enjoy up to 20% off on our outdoor grilling. So definitely check that out. I can't stop eating the, the grilled donut. It's the most amazing thing ever. Okay, I'm running inside the kitchen. More to come. Have you signed up for HSN email? Sign up for HSN emails now to stay connected on our hottest and newest deals of the week. And you'll even receive exclusive coupons and never miss a today's special. We'll send you the scoop on our best value of the day straight to your inbox. So head on over to hsn.com now and search email to sign up today. Summer's here, and all of your favorite hosts are gathering to celebrate with hand-picked finds and new discoveries. Join in the fun with four or more FlexPay on every purchase and special pricing that you won't want to miss. Kick off your summer with HSN Summer Host Pick Event. Starts Friday on HSN and HSN.com. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos, only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, anyplace. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit. A curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now, exclusively at hsn.com.
this is one of my favorite things for summer. I have so many amazing memories of making homemade ice cream with my grandparents when I was a child. It's just the most delicious ice cream on the planet when you make it homemade, right? But who ever likes the same flavor that their brother likes or that their husband likes. Everyone likes to make their own flavor, right? Well, now you can, thanks to our friends at Dash. This is the Twin Pint ice cream maker. So as you see, super, super easy for everyone to add their own ingredients and make two different flavors simultaneously. You can do that all for $13 and change. Kelly Diedring is here to show us how we are going to do this at home as often as we want it, which is going to be every day in these hot so summer months. Wednesday, Thursday, right. Friday. Yep. You can make two pints of different flavored homemade ice cream. Dash's motto is unprocess your food. And you might be thinking, well, it's ice cream. How is that healthy? Because now I can add the ingredients I want. I don't have to add any artificial colors. I don't have to add processed sugar. I can add my own stevia if I want to do a natural sweetener. Mm, yeah. So here we just did vanilla and chocolate because those happen to be, you know, two of the number one flavors um, throughout the United States. But it comes out of soft serve consistency, which is what I really like. So here Here's our chocolate. I'm gonna make a little banana split. Let's do a little chocolate, a little vanilla. Now these we refroze for just a few minutes to get a little bit of a harder consistency, but if you love that soft serve consistency, that's how it's gonna come right out of the pint. And then might I show you how I eat these? Ready yes, for this? Please. My favorite feature on the planet. Okay. It comes with a handle. It's I literally <laughs> take it off. Here, spoon. I got one. Oh, she got one. This is how you spoon walk around the office in the morning, <laughs> pretend it's coffee. It literally <laughs> comes with a handle. Ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, you know, boys and girls, if you're having a really rough day or if you're having a great day, mm. there is nothing better than sitting on the couch, kicking your feet back with a glass of red wine and some homemade chocolate ice cream, two different flavors, both coming with the handle. Uh, I just amazing okay because this is the aqua <laughs> it's on two flex just for today so you can get it home for $13 excuse me three flex just for That's today uh, you get it home for $13 this is the aqua we have it in red we have it in white as well so how long how are we doing this how long is the process taken so let me show you how you can make it start to finish so your little pint cups right they both have the little handle I would just keep them in your freezer, but if you want to pop them in the freezer for a couple of hours in advance, that's what we recommend, okay? But I always just keep mine stored in the freezer so that whenever I want homemade ice cream, I can literally have it in 30 minutes. To homemade ice cream, no artificial anything, no artificial colors, no artificial junk. I pop it right on top there, and then your paddles, you're just gonna pop on the inside. Each one comes with its own paddle. Remember, you can do two different flavors. It's gonna be chocolate and vanilla. This could be mint chocolate chip and peanut butter. This could be frozen yogurt. It does frozen yogurt. This could be sorbet, it, whatever you wanna do. This right here is our mixture, and it comes included with eight recipes. So this is our vanilla ice cream. We like to use vanilla ice cream as a base because you can add caramel into it or chocolate, you know, uh, melted chocolate into it, your favorite candy bars. Four ingredients, most of which you already have at home. So let me just read them. Uh, half and half, heavy whipping cream, vanilla extract, and sugar. Okay, that's just for the plain vanilla. I al always have almost those, all of those ingredients right, at home. Too, yeah. so it's not like you're out shopping for specialty ingredients, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And remember, no artificial coloring, no chemicals, nothing that you don't want inside your ice cream, right? So you refrigerate the base for just a few minutes. Remember, these stay in the freezer, and then you just pour them on the inside, okay? And this could be anything, though. This could already have, you know, strawberry in it or whatever you want to do. Then you just take the top, you pop it on top. There's a lock on the back. So I'm locking it right now. Watch this, on. And as that paddle comes across the frozen sides, it's creating your soft serve ice cream. Okay. Of whatever flavor. About 30 minutes later, you're gonna have two different pints. Now, let's say you're only eating the chocolate side yeah. and you wanna save the strawberry side. If you wanna take it and you want more of a hard consistency ice cream, take it and refreeze it. And now mm. you have homemade fresh ice cream whenever you want it. With amazing ingredients. Yep. You said there's four ingredients in the vanilla? Well, there's four so not ingredients all the additives in vanilla. In. There's no chemicals, no additives. Additives. Um, just as another example, chocolate comes included if you love chocolate ice cream. There's nothing better as Carrie. I love how you started it because you said you started to make it with grandma. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, there's nothing better than homemade ice cream. Think of regular ice cream, how good it is coming out of the refrigerator, right? Oh or the freezer God. section. Right. Now, multiply that by like a jillion 
and it tastes that much Back better homemade. Yeah. It's so much better homemade, and most people don't make homemade ice cream because they think it's difficult. Absolutely, right? right. Or they think you need a big, big. giant mixer. The giant one, the right? Gi and you don't. Yeah. Now, Dash, I mean, literally, this is smaller than a coffee maker, yeah. and you're making two individual pints, and they both come with their own handles, which I love. I know. Well, that's the white you're seeing there, by the way. I mentioned that uh, it's not often that, that anyone agrees on what ice cream flavor they want, right? right? Now, everyone can make their own ice cream flavor, or it's just you, and you want a different flavor. A lot of times I'll buy, like, the big thing of ice cream, and I won't get through that entire flavor. It'll yep. just sit in the freezer because I'm kind of over that flavor. Yep, that's right? actually a very good point. This can be whatever flavor you want it to be. Oh, it's got a little window so there. So both sides drive. have a little pour spout, so you can actually pour things in. Let's say you want to do strawberry jam and pour cookies. the strawberry jam in. Okay, right there. Uh, yeah. she would like some cookies, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you can actually add in your cookies or crumbles or look at this is just like the the caramel that comes you know at the grocery store if you want a little sea salt and caramel if you want to do some co do you like coconut i don't want to no, yeah, I'll eat it all. Oh, she'll yeah, eat it, it all. Okay. It, yeah. Oh, that's not coconut. That's sea salt. So sea salt and caramel. Oh, yeah, that would have been a big surprise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the main difference between <laughs> sea salt and caramel. But look as I just add in some of my little crumbles. Maybe you just take your favorite candy bar and crush it up. The cookie dough. Oh, the, the cookie, cookie dough. dough. Yeah, okay. That's... Yep. Let's add in some cookie dough. Yeah. So whatever it is you want to do now, you mm -hmm. can add it in while it's mixing, right? So that's why I say, if you've never made homemade ice cream, start with the vanilla base because you can add in any flavor that you want to add in. You can crumble up, I love this idea, you could actually crumble up, you know, the little waffle cones. Oh, yeah. And so it tastes like, you know, you're eating a waffle cone, like on that, you know, on the boardwalk with the roller coaster and you're walking down this, you know. I, I love mean, it. You can really make it as nostalgic as you would like. Just be so there creative. There comes our caramel. You know, you know what I love about this, too, is I'm looking at all these incredible ingredients and I'm thinking, because we have a couple of the cute little ice cream places near my house. Yes. I know we live a little far away Where you add other. all your own toppings exactly. and they charge and you by the house. I know, I know. It's, it's so insane. expensive. It's so expensive. And I, I think about that and I'm like, think about how much more affordable this is, Yeah, right? they charge you by the ounce. I mean, I challenge you, this would be like $50. Just right. To, but you know what I mean? Right. And now you're getting it homemade. And oh so this was gosh. made fresh. We did not refreeze this. This is the soft serve consistency. To me, this is the most important thing. Yeah. Because I always get out my ice cream and let it sit for 20 minutes. Because mm -hmm. I like a soft serve consistency. That's my favorite kind. Whenever I'm at the ice cream place, I always get the soft serve. So I personally love that soft serve oh consistency. Gosh. And the other reason I love it is because it's the perfect consistency here. Let me take the paddle out for you because this is the one you custom did. Is to take it by the handle and take a spoon and just, and now of course you don't have to just take the whole thing but, and just shovel because that's what we do ladies. Isn't it what we do? If we that sit time in front of mom, the TV. You had a bad day. You had a good and we day. Shovel. There, I mean, there's nothing that isn't great with ice cream. Bad day, oh. good day. I mean, it's all the different flavors that mix right in and it's homemade. So you get the benefits of being able to sweeten it. I personally try to stay away from sugar, but I use stevia. Because yeah, for me, stevia absolutely. is a great natural sweetener. So I would make stevia and sweeten my ice cream with it. Or maybe you like honey or agave or mm -hmm. um, here's some espresso. If you like ground espresso, you could do some espresso in your you know, coffee. That's why we say start with vanilla as your base and work from there. It's so delicious. It's so delicious. All right, this one is my life, because this is me on the right, which is the mint, uh -huh. okay? And then my husband hates mint. In fact, he thinks it's like a crime to put mint in sweet things. You, you too? Mint and chocolate don't belong together. I should introduce the two I just of you. feel like <laughs> it's like you're eating chocolate after you just brush your teeth. Yeah, so honestly, <laughs> I love mint chocolate chip ice cream, and he thinks it's a crime. So I do my mint right next door to his peanut butter and chocolate. Are you oh peanut butter and chocolate God. girl? Yes. So yes. we could literally each take this. <laughs> I wish I liked it. And scoop it out and eat it. Or, you know, you can obviously take a scoop and make your own, you know, small little bowls or big little bowls, whatever you want to do, of your favorite ice cream. But to me, it's that soft serve consistency that I adore because I don't like the rock hard ice cream. Now, for the rock hard ice cream, mm -hmm. I recommend just freezing it for about 20, 30 minutes. If you really like a really rock hard ice cream, mm -hmm. put it back right in the freezer and you still have that homemade, you know, rock solid ice cream but i personally love the way it comes out as that soft serve what Which a fun one thing for summer right oh just so delicious for summer so fresh new ingredients every time you want to make it it could be every night if you want to i love that you have two different containers two different pint size containers so that everybody can make the ice cream that they yep. want 
That's going to be your, uh, what are we calling that one again? That one is mint? your mint. Thank you. Oh, no, it's aqua. Uh, we oh, have the no, red. but it's mint ice cream. And we have the white. <laughs> um, it's on three flex just for today for you to try it for 30 days. It's only $13 and change. Boy, you know, what can you get at the ice cream place? Oh, yeah. I mean, you hard press two, for two of you to two, get that, two right? Two stops at the ice cream place for one person, and right. you would have already paid for this. Mm -hmm. But remember, it's, you know, Dash's motto is unprocess your food. They are really all about giving you the tools in your own home, you know, to make things easy so that you don't have to add the junk. Like, if you looked at, like, children's ice cream, the, the rainbow kind, yeah, artificial red, artificial blue, artificial orange, it's, it's frightening. It I mean, is. All the things that, you know, really you is. hear about on the news not to eat in food is in ice cream. So, as if it's not bad enough that it's high in calories, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of them, you're also getting those artificial colorants. For example, these are not high in calories. This is a strawberry frozen yogurt. Okay. You could use a frozen uh, a yogurt base, even a Greek yogurt base. Then you're talking it's a health food because you're talking you a lot of protein, right? Yeah. So this is a strawberry frozen yogurt, and these are real chunks of strawberries. I want you to try that one. Do you like frozen yogurt? Uh, yogurt. <laughs> Sorry. Yogurt and mint are the two things. <laughs> it's not my night with you. <laughs> Love you to death. <laughs> but everything else. How See, about that's the thing. <laughs> you keep your yogurt. Butter. Side and go ahead and get that go healthy that. crap away from me, she says. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well, I'll eat the frozen yogurt. And this one is just chocolate with chocolate chunks. So, how, does that? Oh, that's okay. you're speaking my language. There you go. So, there's our chocolate with chocolate chunks. So, the, I mean, you can see the consistency that you're getting. It's like you went to that, you know, fast food place, um, you know, the one with the um, king and queen. And you ordered the soft serve. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. Right? So there's yours. And she can take a couple bites, as little as much as she wants. Yeah. And then she can pop. You can actually even store in this if you want to just put I a can? little. Yeah, you can store in oh, this, nice. put a little lid on the top and store in that. Or if you like the rock solid, I mm. recommend then for long term storage, just place it in, into another container and you can just store it in another container to get that rock solid. But um, <laughs> look, there you are. <laughs> it's like the best shot of the chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Yum. Just we're eating it, and then we're looking at it there. Uh, uh, this one I like. Fun. Do you like sorbet, like a frozen? I, I do. I promise sorbet. I like everything except okay. for yogurt. <laughs> she doesn't like yogurt or mint. All right, so I think I knew the yogurt I like thing. Mint. I just forgot. I smell like with chocolate. Got it. All right, so this is That's a why I like this. It's mango <laughs> sorbet, though. Mm. So a beautiful, fresh mango sorbet, right, frozen. You know the Froyo treats? Mm -hmm. They sell actual machines that only do the fro. you know, the frozen fruit. Sure. This will still do your frozen fruit. Yum. And then right next door to this, we did a coconut milk, um, or excuse me, cashew milk ice cream. So it's dairy free, gluten free. Wow. wow. Not sugar free, but dairy free, gluten free. If you want it to be sugar free, you can certainly make a sugar free recipe. Maybe there's somebody in your family that's going sugar free or that is gluten free. All the people with allergies love doing homemade ice cream because there's so much in ice cream that they can't eat. And now they can do their very own. Look at the consistency of that mango sorbet. Imagine if that were like a banana strawberry sorbet. Now there's your fruit serving for the day, I girlfriend. mean, right. <laughs> and, and, and this is 30 minutes or less mm -hmm. to amazing treats, amazing desserts. Oh, that's amazing. I know, I, all of them are. If you want the white, that's our most limited. That's going to be your first to sell out. We have the red and we do have the aqua available I'm as well. I'm taking this one with me. That's me. I, here, you take the yogurt one too. That's the one. No. I'm sorry, it's the one thing. <laughs> it's the one thing. Um, you can't win them all. I, that's why this is perfect for <laughs> us. <laughs> all right. Um, stay in the ordering process. Those flexible payments are just for today. There are your colors again, 604. Uh, 389 is your item number. All right, um, we have something coming up for you in just a bit, which is so cool and gonna save all of us so much money. This is the award-winning fresh paper. And yes, we do have the bread saver sheets available. Now we don't have a presentation. They're very limited. You can shop them on hsn.com. They are sold out everywhere at, at Whole Foods, at the big stores, they are sold out. What do you do? You throw in a piece of paper with your bread and your bread's gonna last longer. So shop those on hsn.com. We started with no funding. We had no experience and we had no resources, but at every step of the way, people came forward to help us because they believed in our mission. They believed in, in the idea that simple can be powerful. That was when we first started to think that maybe we could build a social enterprise where we could sell fresh paper to growers and farmers and retailers and consumers, and that would enable us to give it away to food banks. 
so much of, of making a difference is just understanding that, you know, usually you are enough. You have everything that you need to take the first step. Well, that beautiful woman right there and right here is Kavita Shukla. We love when she's here because she's going to help save us money. We saw you on Rachel Ray. Um, we've seen you on absolutely everything from the Today Show, been featured by Oprah. You've been in New York Times, Washington Post, <laughs> CNN, you name it. This is the most amazing breakthrough. We've sold over 2 million fresh paper here at HSN. It's unbelievable. Kavita's back with this customer pick to tell us why. Everyone, stop what you're doing. If you love to save money, if you hate to throw away fruits and vegetables, this is the easiest solution. Yeah, so fresh paper really is the easiest way to keep your food fresh for longer. It's a tiny little sheet that's actually infused with active organic botanicals. So the first thing you'll notice about fresh paper is all of the things it's not. It's not a food saver that's a plastic container or a wrap. It actually doesn't have any plastic at all. It's a tiny little sheet that's infused with active organic botanicals, and it actually keeps your food fresh for longer. And what's most interesting about fresh paper is this little sheet is actually enough for quite a lot of fruit. So you'll see here, one of my favorite examples is a fruit bowl. If you put a sheet on the side of a fruit bowl or even at the bottom, this little sheet is actually enough for the apples, the clementines, the bananas, the grapes, everything in here is staying fresh with one sheet of fresh paper. And that's because of the active organic botanicals and they're actually aromatics. So it's also really important to make sure that your fresh paper is in a place with airflow, but that's all you really have to worry about. It really is the easiest way to keep your food fresh for longer. It's all natural. It's made only with edible organic ingredients. And what I love about fresh paper is all the different ways that you can use it. So here you can see it in a fruit bowl. But you know, if you're not using a fridge to store your tomatoes, which you shouldn't, you can just put a sheet right underneath your tomatoes. Or you can use it in the fridge. We'll go over there and see how you can just toss one sheet in the crisper drawer. You know, a lot of people call it like a dryer sheet for your produce, because yeah. you can just drop a sheet in anywhere where you have food, and that's it. It's an insert that goes inside any container. So, so you can don't go... have to repackage your food exactly. as soon as you get home. Yeah, so when I get home from the grocery store, I just toss the sheets right into the containers. Like this is from a big box store. This is a lot of lettuce. It's a great value if you could actually plan your meals and make salad. It's the best best way to afford eating fresh food, but you really can't eat it before it goes bad. Sure. This one sheet is enough for everything in this container, which okay. is incredible. That's amazing. All right, well, let me show you what you are getting. Um, and auto ship is available, which is super exciting to have this back and have it on auto ship. Um, what you are getting is an eight count of the produce saver sheets. You get all of them. Each one lasts for about a month. Yeah, and the packets are resealable. So exactly. in the packaging, they last for years, but every single sheet lasts for a month. So you can see, you just reseal it, and in the packaging, they last for over two years. So they really go a long way. Yeah. But when you think about it, if you put a sheet in your fruit bowl, you can actually change out the produce for an entire month. If you put a sheet in your crisper drawer, you can change out the produce. So you're using one sheet for an entire month in or out of the fridge, and then you can actually cut the sheets down also to customize them. So if you think about how much you can get out of one sheet, half a sheet's actually enough for a carton of strawberries. Or one of my favorite things actually is doing meal prep. It actually uh -huh. was, it's such a hot trend, but it was something that I never thought I could do because it's so hard to actually plan your meals. And then the worst thing is you go buy yeah. all your ingredients on a Saturday or Sunday, and then they're supposed to last until the next, like Friday or Saturday. Never happens. But what I do now with meal prep is I use my own containers, and I just cut down tiny little sheets yeah, so yeah. that you can actually pre-prep the meals and then just have little sheets. These are actually enough to keep these ingredients fresh. Here we're only using a fourth of a sheet. That's enough. So you can create a salad. You can have this ready and every day just put your salad together. You can basically just customize them in any way. But remember, as long as they're near the produce, they don't have to touch or wrap individually because of the aromatics, those active organic botanicals. That's all you need to do to keep your food fresh for longer. You it's an insert. In. That's it's it. The <laughs> easiest thing and to help save you money because there's nothing worse than when we stand in front of our, our crisper drawer, that fruit bowl, whatever it may be, and things go bad before we can eat them, right? We're just throwing them away. We call it cash in the trash. This is an amazing solution. Over 2 million sold just here at HSN. A huge customer pick. Last time I checked, I believe it was over uh, 100 perfect five-star reviews. Kavita was named one of Time Magazine's top five most innovative women in food. 
This is <laughs> such a game changer in our kitchen that will pay for itself time and time again. And you know what? You will not find this value anywhere in the country. You, you really won't. This is the best value anywhere, hands down. You can stock up and try this for 30 days for $6 and change on your charge card. Yeah. I love that you just, you could just throw it in. And let's whatever go to the, the fridge container. because Please. I'll show you all the, and we'll take the salad so I can really show you kind okay. of how I do my meals at home. Okay. But, you know, this, um, this actually looks a lot like my fridge at home, but I think this is one of my favorite examples. I think this is why, you know, a lot of folks at HSN have called this like a dryer sheet for your produce. All you do is take one sheet. So this one sheet is infused with the active organic botanicals, which are aromatic. So you just have to have the sheet in your crisper drawer. That's it. It's not a wrap. It's not a container. It's an insert that just goes in your crisper drawer and keeps everything in there fresh for longer. Fresh paper has actually been scientifically shown to work. And you know, what's remarkable about it is that you can use it in or out of the fridge. You can use it anywhere where you store your produce. And in the crisper drawer is one of my favorite examples. But if you look around this fridge, you'll see that we have a lot of our own containers. We have mason jars, we have bowls. We don't have a lot of plastic. We don't have chemicals and other devices to keep food fresh. It's just the simple ingredients with the fresh paper sheets added in. So this is one of my favorite examples. Again, prepping meals, you can actually chop up your ingredients and then have them stay fresh throughout the week. Usually when I used to go buy food for a recipe, I would be so frustrated because you buy the food and then you don't even know if it's still gonna be fresh by the time you wanna make that recipe. So now I just right. chop up my ingredients, I add the sheets in, that's it. The other thing I do when I come home from the grocery store is just toss the sheets right into the bags. You don't even have to repack it into a new container. Or I'll make little salads, I'll pack my lunch in a advance and that's it I'll just drop them in there and I have my lunch prepped I don't have to think about it I can do all my grocery shopping not worry about going to the store every single week or even as often as I might think I need to just to keep my food fresh and here you'll see a half sheet is actually enough for a container of this size. For something like herbs, where you're making all these recipes, you really want the fresh herbs, you want that taste, it's impossible to eat the entire container. But now, just add a tiny little strip of fresh paper, and that's it. That's keeping everything in there fresh for longer. So the fresh paper sheets themselves last for an entire month. That's one month that you can just tuck the sheet right into your crisper drawer. Anywhere you want in the crisper drawer, it's keeping everything in there fresh for longer. But remember, Remember, you can also use them in your fruit bowl. You can use them anywhere where you store your food, and that's it. They'll keep everything fresh. Yeah, I mean, isn't that funny that you can just <laughs> literally open up your crisper drawer and throw it in? Yeah. You can literally set it in that fruit bowl that you have sitting on the kitchen and counter. And you can change out the produce. That's the key. Is like it's not a container where you're taking each individual piece of fruit and putting it in there. It's yeah. not a wrap. And remember, there's no plastic. It's a natural technology that actually works for a lot of produce. So people look at the sheets and they're usually like, one tiny little sheet, how much can that do? But one tiny little sheet is actually enough for a lot of produce and each sheet lasts for a month. So just think about how long each sheet goes. And of course, you know, in the original packaging, they last for years. They're also yeah. made in the US, they're compostable, they're completely natural, they're very safe to have touching your food. They're actually made with edible organic botanicals. So I think that's also something that I find really important to consider yeah. when you're looking at what goes into your kitchen. So. Absolutely. And it's just something that is just so easy to do. If you love to save money, if you love for your fruits and vegetables to still be edible when you finally get around to eating them, this is the solution for you. So again, lowest price in the country, hands down. You're Absolutely. getting a three pack. That's an eight count, but like Kavita was talking about, you can cut them down for the smaller containers and for your herbs. For your meal prep as well. Exactly. exactly. Um, when you're in the ordering process, we recommend that you do auto ship so you can have it come to your door every 90 days or how or how often you need them to come to your door. That simply means you get to secure that price and they're never sold out for you. I will say we do have a small amount of the bread savers and the cheese savers. And the cheese always right. goes bad. And how much oh do we gosh, spend on that? Those are so exciting. And those are wraps actually. So they create the optimal environment for storing your cheese. That wrap yeah. is all you need to do. So you take your cheese out of the plastic wrap, which is not how you should store it. Wrap it up in the, and those wraps actually also last for a month. They're made yeah. with the same technology, the organic, active botanicals and this is critical for this time of year we have the bread saver so these are amazing you just add them in wherever you're storing your baked goods so you could put it right into a cookie jar you can Save put it in cookies. a bag of bread and then of course because we're talking about 
barbecues and cookouts, uh -huh. whenever you have hamburger buns or hot dog buns, just leave the sheet in the bag, that's it. Your bread will stay fresh for much longer. And it's that simple. Come home from the grocery store, throw the bread sheets in your bread Good bags, it. throw the produce yeah. sheets all over your fridge, in the containers, and that's it. So the <laughs> bread and the cheese, those are sold out in like every yeah. grocery and health food store all over the country. It like, all those started, are impossible yeah. to come by. It we have them. with HSN, but you know, the response has been so phenomenal. The reviews yeah. we've been seeing, Huge. all the HSN fanatics on Facebook reaching out to us. It's so exciting. But you know, I'm so thrilled that we could bring fresh paper here. It was something that started as my middle school science project. As you know, it was inspired by this home remedy that my grandmother in India once gave me to drink. But it, yeah, that's my grandma. Aww. So it, it was something that, you it really started for me out of a curiosity, learning about these different botanical ingredients, trying to figure out how my grandmother's ancient knowledge could be applied to solve a problem that we all face, and that's keeping our food fresh mm -hmm. without using plastics, without using harmful chemicals, and also being able to afford eating fresh, healthy food. You know, we were talking about meal prep. It's so critical to be able to eat fresh, healthy food, but the most difficult thing about eating fresh food is how expensive it is and how often you have to go to the grocery store. So with fresh paper, it's a little solution that you just put in any container where you store food. It's not a container, it's an insert. So it's, it's an insert piece, you put in paper. a fruit bowl, it's an insert you can put right under tomatoes. It's an insert right. that you can cut down, so you're only using a teeny tiny little strip for something like herbs. And you know, you can use only half a sheet for berry containers. It lasts for a month, so you can change out the produce in your fruit bowl. But this is all you need to do to keep your food fresh for long naturally. It's a really simple, really affordable way to actually eat a much fresher diet. Yeah. And it's something that you can feel really good about using because it's also completely safe, it's compostable, and it's made in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just a win-win all the way around, right? The ease of it. I think a lot of us, we hear about certain technologies that help our fruit and vegetables and our breads and our cheeses stay fresh longer, but we think, okay, I've got to bring all these other containers into my house. I've got to come home from the grocery store and swap everything. Take that piece of paper, open up your crisper drawer and toss it in. It's a dryer it. sheet for your crisper exactly. drawer, essentially. <laughs> that fruit ball, set it right in. Whatever container your fruit and vegetables come in, just set it right in there. That's it. See the difference. It's absolutely amazing. Read the reviews on hsn.com. You'll see that there's more than 500 perfect five.